Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. This is a part two of my Tesla one year solar video where I went over um, the cost month to month, what my total savings was and all that kind of stuff. Today, I'm gonna show you what Tesla promised me for 12 months of solar production, what I actually got now that I have January and February's numbers. And then I'll show you um, what the actual cost was for one year and what my, I'm sorry, I'll say what my actual savings was for one year now that I have January and February. And I will show you on the app um, what the production numbers look like month to month. And that's about it. So all the other stuff that I covered in that first one year video, you can check that stuff out. I have a graph and I go over each month and show you the savings that I had. Um, pretty much every month I still had a bill and I attribute some of that to the fact that I have a Tesla now. I did not have the Tesla when the system was designed. But in reality, the Tesla's probably a dollar, dollar fifty a day to charge, maybe two dollars. And then of course when we're doing road trips, maybe a little bit more. So I don't know that it plays into it that much. But uh, let's take a look at the numbers. And then if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them for you if I can. And as always, I appreciate you watching. Let's get started by taking a quick look at the app so I can show you what the month to month production looks like. And then I'll show you what Tesla promised us um, when I signed the contract. All right, guys. So what I wanted to show you was the total production on the app from Tesla app, 14.4 megawatt hours from the 25th of February when the system was turned on until December of 2023. Now that means we were missing January and then the first half of February. So if you go over to this page, this is 2024 and shows all of January and it shows all of February and then March. So what I did is I subtracted what I've produced in March so far and then subtracted the 26th through the 29th of February. And I come up with 1696.7 kilowatt hours so far for 2024. And then we would need to add that to the 14,400 kilowatt hours, or as Apple says here, 14.4 megawatt hours. And that's gonna give us a total of 14,400 plus 1696.7 is equal to 16,096.7 kilowatt hours produced for a full year with my solar system. And again, it's a 9.6 kilowatt system and I do have two power walls as well. You can find all the details about that in all my other solar videos. So now let's take a look at what Tesla promised us as far as production for one year. So this is a screenshot from my Tesla paperwork showing that my 9.6 kilowatt system should produce 15,699 kilowatt hours a year of production. And as I mentioned earlier, I did produce 16,000 96.7 kilowatt hours. So we actually did meet the goal that Tesla had set, which is great. There are obviously a lot of variables over the year, you know, throughout the year with weather and clouds. And um, in my case, I did have some product production decreases that I've talked about in a couple of my videos. I still have no answer for that. I have had some great suggestions, like I mentioned, from a lot of you guys as to what could be going on, the inverter overheating, things like that. So I'm actually gonna to try to put a big sail tarp over the area this year to maybe keep it cooler when the summer starts kicking in. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, like I mentioned in the last video, overall very happy with the savings in electricity and also the production and the Tesla experience overall. Dealing with tech can be a little bit frustrating depending on who you get when you text with and or talk to them but overall a decent experience and i would recommend a tesla solar system um, just have to be patient it took at least six months or so to get everything kind of finished up as long as you know that going in you're not expecting it to be you know on your house a month after you put in your submission you should be good so there are people, if you read online, that have had issues with their inverters and it has taken Tesla a very long time to get those replaced. Um, I think like anything online, people come to complain more than to say, sing praises, right? It's that way in the car industry. I've been doing car videos for a long time and 
the videos where you have an issue with your vehicle always do better than when everything's going rosy and things are good. So again, good experience, happy with the production numbers, and we are still paying for electricity, which is a little bit of a bummer. I didn't expect it to be zero, but I thought it would be a little bit less than we are paying. But keeping in mind that I did not have the Model Y when I designed the system, so that did add a little bit to our bill. And then TEP has also raised rates 10%. So there's all those factors. But looking forward to seeing how this year goes. It has been a pretty cloudy February and March this year. So we'll see um, production starting to go up. I'm having days now um, in the high 40s, and I think we should be hitting... Let's see. So yeah, like you can see yesterday, 49.6, and it's pretty much been in the 49s when it's been sunny the last few days. So we should be getting some good credits being generated here over this next couple of months before it really starts getting hot and we have to kick on the AC. Last month, I think we had a credit, I think it was 25 to $27. So our bill was 67-ish. Um, again, much better than it was last year. So that's kind of the final one year look at uh, my tesla solar system again if you have questions please let me know hopefully this makes sense to you you can fill in some of the gaps by watching the previous video if you want to see a little bit more on the actual savings and what it costs um, each month and then the overall savings compared to last year this year etc so take care we'll see you on the next one